I told my son that girls don't just like athletes, they also like a boy who can cook, he said, sign me up. Our next guest has been cooking and baking since she was basically a toddler. Today, she's even been on reality shows like Chopped Jr. I really like pasta, but have a more refined palate than hot dogs. I'm thinking that I can make a sauce with the veggie cream cheese and because I'm small and I have a bow in my hair and I look pretty sweet. But then I get really fierce when I'm cooking and they're like, whoa. <laughs> in between schools, she also helps with the culinary classes at Figlia. It's the only all kids cooking school. Please welcome Kate Daniel and her mom, Brooke. Good morning. <laughs> to be fun doing that show. It was pretty fun. I liked it a lot. Yeah. Okay, so you've been cooking since like full on, like real yes. cooking since you were yes. four? I have been. I've I know how to use a knife. I'm all that skills. You're all about the skills. <laughs> all right, mom. So when she did that, was it just out of curiosity or did she truly want to cook? Uh, she truly loved to cook. And she came home one day and said, Mama, I want to apply for Chop Junior. I was like, All right, let's <laughs> let's do it then. Okay. So yeah. the application process went a little while and after some interviews um, and cooking on camera, uh, they, they selected her out of 5,000 applicants. Yeah, well, with this cute personality, of I course. Know, of course. <laughs> okay, so started like baking her famous lemon pound cake at four years old. A lot of times, things we did at four kind of fizzle out by now because you're how old now? 12? I'm 12. 12? Yeah. Okay, yeah. But she's just like keeps running with it. She does. She loves it and she's such a help at the school. So, yeah, it's great. All right, Kate, you want to make something for a little holiday that's coming yes, up, I right? Do. And what's Mother's that? Day. Mother's Day? Yes. Right? Okay, mm -hmm. so what are you going to make for us? I will be making cranberry orange scones, oh, cucumber we have tea, a British and, okay. <laughs> and some tea. Yeah, so, so doing a spot of tea. A spot and we're of tea. Yes, okay, yes. we're going to have um, something that you serve with tea, and you see us in England a lot, the cucumber sandwiches, yes. and of course the scones. The scones, of course. Right, okay, all right, so how do we make the scones? So, to make the scones, first off, we have to start with a little bit of flour. You're actually very good at this. I the British accent, I mean. <laughs> thank you. Me and my friend do it all the time. <laughs> and then after the flour's in, you have to have some sugar because it's sweet, just like my mom. Now, do, do you do? Oh, that's very sweet. <laughs> do you talk about this at school sometimes? I sometimes do, you know, I just fall into it. I my, son know goes, yeah, my son goes to school with you and he goes, Kate, sometimes she has a Texas accent and sometimes it's British. It's very flip floppy, yeah. you never okay. know. Very flip floppy, she says. <laughs> All right, so you put the, some sugar. Was it was it sugar or flour? And that is baking powder okay. right here, but I just dumped it in. Okay. So now we're gonna mix that on low. Actually, I'm not gonna do that yet. We have to add in some orange zest. Yes. Okay. And orange zest, orange. you the, you peel the outside of the orange, yes, and then that the way you get the real real zesty flavor, yes, huh? It has a lot more flavor than the juice, so okay. I use it a lot. All right. And while you're putting in the rest of those ingredients, I want to ask about Figlia, how you all came up with the school, and you have summer camps as well, right? Absolutely, yeah. Um, so Kate was trying to find a place where she could kind of go after school and pursue her passion and take classes and really didn't exist for kids on a constant basis. So um, my husband looked at us both one day and said, why don't you start your own kids' right. cooking school? So um, I quit my corporate job and 20 years in the corporate world, and then we started this together. Oh, that's very cool. Yes, yes. So when you come, the kids come to this cooking class, it's yes. like you don't want parents loitering and hanging out. You want the kids to learn it and is. interact with each other. It yes. is. It's drop off. And, you know, I always hear about kids um, trying new things. It's, you know, peer pressure in a good way. They're in a group right. environment. They're all, they want to taste what they spent so much hard work making. They want to taste it. So they're always trying new foods, and that's always parents love that. Yeah, it was interesting too. It was like a kid who'll say they hate Brussels sprouts. Yeah. Suddenly, when they come to the school and they make them, they yes. take ownership of them. All of a sudden, Absolutely. they love Brussels sprouts. They take ownership. It's all about building independ independence and confidence, and really saw that with Kate when she was learning to cook. Yeah, does she cook at home, like outside of the school? Oh yes, oh, yes. absolutely. She's oh. always experimenting in the kitchen. My only rule is you got to clean up, and she does. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, all right, so we're mixing that up, and what a scone can be is it's like it's a like, like a biscuit in a way, but a lot more hearty. Yes, the reason it's like that because there are eggs in the scone, but they're not eggs and biscuits, oh. so it kind of makes it like different than a biscuit. It it's more just dense. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And right, so you... and right now I'm just adding in some cold butter because when the cold butter hits the hot stove, it creates steam, which is a golden brown crust. Ah, oh, okay, and butter makes everything better, doesn't it? Of course, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, she's also great for teacher's gifts, isn't she? I mean, she uh, every, like... She makes them. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Yeah. 
Okay. And her friends' lunches. She always brings extra for her friends. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm going to tell my son to start sitting next to exactly. you in the lunchroom. <laughs> okay, so we put our eggs in. Yes, and then we're just going to put some cream. Another thing that makes scones different from biscuits is they're a lot more liquids. Okay. So we're going to slowly add that in. And what's the advantage of slowly adding something instead of just dumping it all in there at the same time? It'll make it more like creamy together. Mm -hmm. You won't have a big chunk of flour and a big chunk of butter. It'll just be all together. Okay. So tell me the truth about Gordon Ramsay. Is he scary? Slightly. Slightly? <laughs> he's, he's a little intimidating. He's nicer to the kids, but he's a little yeah. intimidating, isn't he? <laughs> All right. So we've got so that going there. That's going. And now it, we're going to add some flour, okay. more flour, just to make it more dense. And the great thing about a scone is that it can have just a buttery flavor, or you can add any type of hint of yeah. flavor you want. That's what we did with the orange zest, but now you're adding in... Some cranberries because mm. it's a cranberry orange scone. Uh huh. Yeah. You like these desserts? Savory okay. too. Yes, I also like scones because they can also be savory. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So let's take this white canvas of a scone over here and see what you did to it. So give me one of those. Now you put them in the okay. oven for how long? You put them in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. Here's yes. some. Oh, some marmalade. Yes, some jalapeno jam and peach preserves. Okay. I'm gonna put that right on there. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to go like this right here. Mmm. Uh, that is so good. <laughs> mm. And of course, stone tastes great with a spot of tea. What do you have yeah. going on here? So what I this is right here is some. Um, it's a starter pack kit for like making tea. A lot of kids should use this. All you do is put some sugar, hot water, tea leaves, and then all you have to do set it on. Let that steep. Set it on the teapot, and it'll just drain. Now, Miss Duncan, okay. would you like a spot of tea? I would like a spot of tea, if you don't mind. Oh, okay. And we'll take that. Here we go. Did would she like play some... this when she was a little girl, too? She, of course. She, she's funny. <laughs> would you like some sugar or honey? Oh, uh, I think this is just good right here. Here. Okay. Mm. Oh, that's good tea. That's Thank really you. good tea. It doesn't need any sugar or honey. Oh. The cucumber sandwiches. So yes. you can just put cucumber and I know when I was in England it was cucumber and yes. just some mayonnaise, but it looks like you have something else going on here. Yes, I actually put some cream cheese in it to make it more creamy. Mm, okay. And then it's a little dill. bit of dill. Mm -hmm. And that is delicious. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so um, by the end of a summer camp, yes. should my child be able to put dinner on the table? He should. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Kate, I'll leave it all up to you. Thank you very yes, much. Thank you. Thank you. For more information and all the cooking classes at Figlia Kitchen, we have a link on greatdayhouston.com.